hey guys this is the design of the shelf speakers that i'm going to make today first of all we have to build the cabinet so i'll be using a 25 inches long and 10 inches wide 12 mm mdf board there are a few things that i want to share with you first i don't have any woodworking workshop and second i'm not very experienced to be the woodworking so it will be a challenging yet fun project to make to cut the pieces, I'll be using a circular saw that I bought ages ago. Okay, so now we have all the pieces perfectly cut. These are the dimensions in case anyone is interested. The next step is to glue all the pieces together to create a perfectly square box. To make the process easier, I have designed and 3D printed these corner brackets that will help us to align the pieces and make a perfect square. Now we have everything ready so let's get started. Alright guys, I have joined all the pieces and now we have to put some weight on it. I am using this antique piece of dumbbell that was laying in my storeroom. Two hours later. Okay, so as you can see, it's a perfectly square box. Now we have to remove the brackets and glue the back piece. To make the front panel more interesting, I'll be using real wood instead of MDF. The gluing process is the same. Just apply the glue, align the front panel and put the antique dumbbell on it. 346 minutes later. Alright guys, it's been almost 4 hours and the box looks perfect. Now we have to remove the extra edges. You can use a trimmer or whatever tool you have. I'm using this planner tool for this task. Then I smooth the front edges using 80 grit sandpaper. So finally guys the first step is complete. Moving on to the speakers. I have selected Hebe Audio 4 inch full range drivers for the main speakers. These speakers not only look good but also produce excellent sound with maximum output of 30 watt. For the tweeters, I am using these tweeters but unfortunately I don't remember the brand name. You can find the links in the description for more information. Now here comes the most challenging part, making cutouts for the speakers. I am using this trimmer tool but it's still very hard to make perfect cut. To make it easier I have designed and 3D printed a zig to guide the trimmer. With this zig in the place we can confidently make the perfect cutout for the speakers. Alright guys, as you can see we did it perfectly. 
So now let's move on to the next step which is polishing or waxing the front panel. We need some wood stain and a piece of cotton fabric. Now we have to dip this into the wood stain and apply it to the wood. Ok so it may not look perfect but trust me guys it will be turn out great. Now it's time to apply the vinyl paper on it. I am using this black leathery finish vinyl. As you can see the cabinet is ready and it looks pretty good. Now we have to install the speaker so let's do this. So finally guys the shelf speakers are ready and they are looking really good. I am so excited to try these speakers out but first we need an amplifier. So I got this amplifier from DF Robot. It's perfect for these speakers and we can even attach a subwoofer with it. So make sure to check out DF Robot as well. So as you can see I have set up the speakers. Let's play some song and experience the sound quality together. As you can see guys, I mean listen guys, the sound quality is pretty good, the vocals are crisp and clear with pretty decent bass. It's so loud that I can't hear my own voice at full volume. I'm really glad with how this project turned out. And this is pretty much for today. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a subwoofer as well. If you like what you see and hear, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.